What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are looking at the brand new Magic Online updated interface. There was an issue uh, today with one of the deployments. They said their words were, we're troubleshooting an issue that came up with today's deployment. We don't have a timeline, but we'll provide more information on 1 p.m. Pacific time. And about 1 p.m. Pacific time, they said we've identified a fix for an issue that makes loading some areas of the new play lobby take longer than we'd like. A fix will be deployed within the next two hours. Rather than stay down, we're going live, so you can play matches while we prep everything. More when we ship the fix. So pretty sweet, pretty sweet solution. And uh, let's take a look around. So collection, collection looks the same. Collection was was not changed. Click. Oh, constructed. Um, change decks, and then you can pick your deck. Oh, and then it shows you like what's in the deck. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. So you can pick the the right deck. So now you're not just like, well, I think this is what I called it. Then you can just be like, oh, this is the one. This has got these. And it's got like the kind of like the MTG arena look to it. Uh, let's go to limited. WB. I don't know. What, oh, welcome back. I was like, I don't know what that means. But I do know what that means. And limited, we have pretty much the same thing. It's it's it's, it's going to take a little bit to get used to it, I think. This is these are obviously the trophies. I think they could be smaller. I think these could be. How do you? I I also can't scroll down, but I guess it's the same thing down here. Oh, looks like we're it's either broken or loading something. We'll figure out which. We are going to be vintage cube drafting. This is me shutting this off right now, so don't freak out. I'm just opening something, making sure. Okay. Still up. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bummer. Try again. <coughs> I'm playing a match and it looks uh, to have frozen the entire client. Well, yeah, maybe it was just a maybe the whole thing just went down real quick. How is Bortina? I actually wouldn't know. Uh, I Mike is the one that's dating Bortina, so I couldn't say. All right, so we did it again. We're back in the the limited play lobby. Oh look, we found a leaderboard. All right. I imagine I can scroll down this. League is currently paused. Okay. Well, this is going to be a hell of a day, guys. Hell of a hell of a day to stream some vintage cube. That's a yikes for me, dog. So the thing is, they introduced this right before Modern Horizons comes out, like, tomorrow. And I feel like they probably should have tested it maybe the previous week. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know software development, right? So I don't want to be like, why didn't you do this? Because those people sound like idiots because they have no idea the effort it takes or, you know, how many people or how much work it takes to do certain things. Um, but, you know, it feels like making an... I mean, let's not, I don't know. It's Watsy though. It's it's old. Like that's a low hanging fruit. That's a it's a pretty tired. It's a pretty Thanks. tired meme. Irk Tenors. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Like it's an interesting choice to roll out an update this big. Um right before you're releasing a brand new set the next day. So But we cannot start a vintage cube draft, unfortunately. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if I can't do vintage cube, I'm probably just not going to stream, right? I, I I'd rather just do vintage cube because I'm not going to stream for a few hours now, then come back and stream for like five hours later too, because that's a lot of my day. 
Plus, it's not it's not even it doesn't look like modern's going to be any better. The update is definitely struggling a little bit. I'm I'm hoping it gets fixed by tonight because it's pretty awkward. Pretty awkward. Uh, won't they need another update tomorrow for Modern? No, they usually they they usually roll it all into one. Like this would be the Modern Horizons update. They put all the updates for like the same week or in the, like so they'd have like this is their, their June fifth update for Wednesday. They hope to ship effects by three p.m. Pacific time. Oh god, like an hour and a half. I mean, they did say at four that it would probably be two hours, so that's that is six. So it doesn't. It's not surprising. Yeah, the comments to the uh, to the post where they're like, "Hey, go up and play your matches." But they're, they're like, "Client keeps crashing for me." Client crashed and said main navigation is not responding. Got into draft. Client lagged for me thirty seconds when I finally got into had auto pick two cards. I think an old version of Vintage Cube went online. Just queued in for the league after the downtime, and I saw a duplicate at Pentad Prism. Yikes. Oh, well, they, yeah, they would never release it the same day because their updates happen on Wednesdays. But, I mean, I still think it should have been the previous Wednesday because it seems like a lot in, uh, like, then they could have this all ironed out by this week when the set goes live tomorrow, you know. But now I feel like they're just cutting it really close. And so now there's, like, you know, you're, now you're playing with my vintage cube time, boys. Daddy needs his vintage cube. This is not what father likes. You are correct. This is an abomination in father's eyes. Yeah, like I literally can't click on anything else. So we're kind of just hanging out right now. Father's gonna go get some smokes. Dang, father's a real father's really reckless. Oh look, we can click on oh, I don't know what just happened. Oh god. Vintage cute. Yeah, if they actually uh, if they actually set the wrong vintage cube live that's pretty comical and you get like duplicates and pentad prisms card that's like cards that like are no longer in the vintage cube yeah i think the look is great i think it's a much better look for sure um should i just play like should i just play like skyrim or or, or fallout or witcher or witcher 3 should i just play a uh, should I just play another game, guys? Is Witcher 3 too adult? Are there going to be... Are there going to be inappropriate moments? What's this gauntlet? I have no idea what anything is, my dude. I can click on it. Oh, new to Magic Online Standard Gauntlet. Yeah, Two new player points. They're like, you don't have those, idiot. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Sad times. Right, Gauntlet sure doesn't sound like things to do with new players. Like, if they're like, hey, what can we call this? We're going to get a new player event. What can we call it? Something that's, you know, new player friendly. Let's call it the Gauntlet. Uh, you know what? Uh, sure. 
the token system they're adding for Modern Horizons? What what's the token system? Are you talking about Magic Online? I don't know what it is. Do you guys know more than me? What's going on right now? You buy tokens to enter events? I did see that. Can I... Do I have to buy them? Like, can you only event with... Can you only enter the event with tokens? Because if I can't enter with tickets or play points, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. And that might severely restrict my ability to uh, okay good that's fine then yeah then who cares then it's just if they're going to add another form of currency you don't get paid out in play points for modern what do you get paid out in If you get paid out in the modern things, I'm totally fine with that. Like, I'll just do modern stuff then. This is the new this is the new Moto client, but it seems like they're they're kind of struggling a bit. <laughs> Quality? <laughs> We're still trying to figure that out. It's a real it's a real it's a real touch and go right now. All right, let's see what this article is. Well, this is always going to be wasted space on the homepage. I don't know, man. This is just the homepage is poor is very poorly utilized. But they they did mention that the update was the play lobbies. So, <sighs> uh you'll be able to play in draft leagues, sealed leagues and phantom draft leagues with the normal array of entry options. We're also introducing a new entry option specifically for this set Modern Horizons tokens. Sure. I'm game. These untradeable Modern Horizons tokens are available in three places. The Modern Horizons bundle, individually in the store, and through events. The bundle includes 25 tokens. What? Wait. What? How many tokens are is a draft? Single tokens will be over two forty nine. If you need to round out your collection for the next event, booster packs will be like six ninety time. Because I when I when you, when there's when there's a thing called Modern Horizons tokens, I assume that one token would be one draft, right? Doesn't that make sense? It's like four paragraphs away. Oh Jesus. That's so weird. If I had like a thing called a, if you have a movie ticket, you don't need 10 movie tickets to go to a ticket, right? Or to go to a movie, right? You just need one movie ticket. Why would 10, why would you need 10 Modern Horizons tokens to play in a draft? And the bundle includes 25. So they're like, here's two and a half drafts that you, like, cause you could only use them for this event. <laughs> so like, what? I feel like this is just weird on like four different metrics. Like, 10 Modern Horizons tokens. What's the point? Just make it one. Mm -hmm. 
I guess they can't make it one because then they wouldn't be able to pay it out, I guess. Can't the winner of a draft get like two tokens? You make you make it cost one token to enter, the winner of the draft gets two tokens. Second place gets one token, right? Because that's the same way. If you go 2-1, you always get your entry back and play points. Prizes. So if you get three wins, if you go 3-0, you get one Modern Horizons token. You get one tenth of a draft back in the Modern Horizons. You're getting six packs, which I imagine is two drafts right so that seems fine but why even give like one tenth of a draft why, why even give that I mean if a draft is 25 tickets right and you're giving one modern horizons token which is the equivalent of 2.5 why don't you just give 2.5 tickets like they're three tickets two tickets So, like, yeah, I can I, I foresee the economy having a bunch of, like, not even the economy because it's not going to enter the economy. But I can foresee it having, like, everyone's going to have, like, I have three Modern Horizons tokens. I have seven. I have 12. I have one. Like, and you're just like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah, Kenji just right. Like, someone else, well, someone else said there's old, I, I already covered that there were old versions of cards in, in the cube. Like someone else said they saw Pentad Prism and Duplicant, which are no longer in the cube. Do you guys wanna you guys wanna jump into this thing? I'm gonna jump into this thing anyway. And then we're gonna see what happens. With this uh with this old this old iteration of the cube. Let's let's do it, man. Let's old iteration cube draft, guys. I'm excited. I'd probably just do phantom drafts and hope to throw. Oh, I'd always do phantom draft. Oh, maybe I actually no, I don't actually do it with, with money sets like this. I I definitely so I take a look at what the prices are. Like if there's a, if there's several cards worth more than like ten tickets, I usually would do a, a regular draft. But if all the cards are, are are hovering toward like four or five tickets, I'll just like no, that's not worth it. You have to open like six money rares, money rares in the set to like, to break even. You know. Oh yes, old ass cube version, coming coming on. Let's do it. Garrick Apex Predator. Welcome back, my friend. Long time no see. This is nice. We're doing a different version of the cube, guys. This is quality content. This is going up on the YouTube. You guys are going to get to see a second version of the Vintage Cube. Uh, two two versions of the Vintage Cube in one season. I do like Garrick Apex Predator, but this guy's coming right back. I think it's probably Marsh Flats. Is this a VIP cube? Yeah, boy. What happens if you draft a deck and then, like, they fix it? Do they just, like... Do you, do you just get to play your matches with this cube against other people's matches with their decks? What happens if you didn't finish all your matches? Like, so say, like, I drafted a deck, right? And I played two matches and I still had one, one, one match to go, so I still had a deck with the previous vintage cube. What happened to those people right now? Do they just have their same deck with, like, illegal cards? Do they have their same deck with not illegal cards and they're just playing against other people with... Like, what is the... What is the situation for that? Oh, a uh, polluted delta. This pack looks pretty normal. I don't think there's anything in this pack that's really, like... That's really different from the current version. I'll just take Treachery here. We're hoping that that, that Garrett comes back just so we can be Sultai, but... Yeah, what are you gonna do? just tuned in what happened to the cube can someone give a uh, a recap i'm completely sure watsy thought of that as much as they considered the issues of launching this update and letting people play through it yeah well they always add and take out cards from cube this version had a few cards taken out and no war cards what does that mean yeah well this is the previous iteration of the cube this is the the one before the current Regretting not putting in a stiff to draft a previous version of the cube. <laughs> Here's a challenge for you. Draft the previous version of the cube. Nick, that'll never... Ha that's impossible, Nick. Is it? Wow. Nick was right. 
It's the previous version of the cube. I guess we just take Ancient Tomb here. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take this Ancient Tomb. He was right. They, they do travel in herds. What up, Monsanto? Strange too much treachery. It's basically double ramp. It is actually double ramp. Oh wow, that's true. Actually, that's. Are you stopping by Chicago for our IRL vintage cube draft next month? Boy, I'd love to. That sounds like a blast. Palace Jailer still in here? Oh man, do we just take Palace Jailer and live the uh, live the dream? Mystic Confluence is very good too. I'm gonna take this Palace Jailer. That's gas. That's great. You get to be the monarch. I want to be the monarch. None of these cards are super exciting. Probably Oblivion Ring if we already have Palace Jailer. I don't first. I don't care about Treasure Cruise that much. Kozlek's cute, but. Uh, I'm just gonna we're just gonna blue white chi on this bad boy. Wow, this is nuts. What a nuts draft. What a nuts experience we've had today, guys. <clears throat> Windswept Heath. Fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. Uh, yeah, I'll take Windswept Heath. We are white, so it's good enough. It's good enough. Two fetchy boys. Oh, fetchy boys. Also, Josh, are you in the Discord? Because a lot of this stuff is discussed in the Discord, so you might be missing some some quality content. No beats, yeah. Ben, ben just asked the same question I, I did. Oh, I like a Scarab God here. Scarab God's probably still just as strong, especially when you got a Palace Jailer. That's a late Metal Worker, too. Well, boys, I guess we're Esper. Esper Chions. Well, this draft is going reasonably, I guess, all things considered. Marsh Flats can get Blood Crypt, but it can also get Swamp, so I don't really care about that. Recruiter can get Palace Jailer. Actually, it's probably just Animate Dead. Let's just Animate Dead here. The Garrick came back. My man. Do we just take this Garrick because we're Maniacs? Four color Shions. Yeah. Long hair, don't care. I think it is. I think Dark Slick's the correct pick, but I, I want to take the the cool pick. Oof. Yeah, there, I bet Ojitai and Dragonlord Silimgar are still in this cube, which is pretty spicy. Wow, that's Elite Warm Power Stone that I will gladly take. Uh, how was the new MTG update? Well, besides being uh, a little buggy and uploading the previous iteration of the Vintage Cube. Fine. <laughs> how come there's no comma in Magic the Gathering online? Magic the Gathering up here has no comma in it, which is kind of disheartening. I guess we'll take... <laughs> 
I'm going to take this Ulamog because maybe we're just ramping at some, in some way. Why doesn't Magic the Gathering have a comma in it? That's really surprisingly tilting. That's poor branding. Your brand has a comma in it. Put a comma in it. A colon, not a comma. My bad. My bad. That was a misspeak. That was a misspeak, not, a, not an editorial error. All right, well, this deck's looking quite interesting. Shallow Grave. All right, well, that last last pick issue is still is still present. Oh, Golgari Signet. That's probably the pick with no power in this pack. I don't see any cards that are not currently present in the Vintage Cube, except for maybe this Kiora. And maybe Blink of an Eye, which I don't think I've seen either of. Uh, I mean, we could take Search, but I'd rather take this card that fixes because we're in <laughs> four colors here. Same with Tundra and Demir Signet, which is nice. I don't think the Chandra Flamecaller or Vidalcan Shackles are still in either. Yeah, we'll take Tundra. Tundra seems great here because we can get it with Marsh Flats and Windswept Teeth. <clears throat> Ideally, that Demir Signet comes back. Oh! Oh, it's so bad. It's not It's not great for us. I think Azoria Signet's actually significantly better for us right now. Have we seen any cards that indicate this is a vintage cube? Um, I guess Channel. I don't know if Channel's in the... In the Legacy cube. Yeah, we'll just take Azoria Signet. Now we have two Signets that cover both of our colors. Leovold seems pretty solid. I do like a Creeping Tarpet, though. I bet we take Creeping Tarpet and Leovold comes back. That's going to be my guess. Two minutes ago, they say the key was been updated to be correct, but I'm already in this draft. What does that even mean? The vintage key has been updated to be correct. We've added six hours to the expiring time to make up for some of today's issues. Still working on a fix for some of the slowness we're seeing. Okay, but what do I do now? <laughs> do I just play against people with different decks? Hey, dude, I like your deck. Oh, now we have a Bayou and a Golgari Signet and a Tundra and an Azorius Signet. So, like, oh, next is a Fate? I bet they took that out. I don't see that in the new cube. Channel wouldn't do anything? Are there not Eldrazi in the Legacy cube? Yeah, they'll be like, wow, Palace Jailer, that's really strong. So what if we slammed a palace jailer and Garrick and opponent goes, surprise Pikachu face? <laughs> oh, the card channel itself is not legal in Legacy, right? That's what we're saying? Thank you. Yeah, okay. T. Jesse, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Could be Abrupt Decay. We have a Golgari Signet and a Bayou. Could be Botanical Sanctum. I like that we can get both Baya and Bayou and Tundra with Marsh Flats and with Windswept Teeth. That's a nice feeling. We can also cast our two. We have two Signets to cast off Ancient Tomb. We have a Worn Power Stone to cast off Ancient Tomb. I I noticed the other day that your sub had expired, but I you know I was like I don't like I don't like pressing people about it. I'm like, hey buddy, do you want to renew? Do you want to renew your sub? Hey, can you renew? Can you renew that? Hey, can you can you renew your sub, please? Hey, hey, can you your sub? It's it needs to be renewed. I guess we'll take Sanctum here. Well, we're not red. But maybe we should be. <laughs> no, we're just going to take Snapcaster Mage. Maybe. Jesus. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wow. I think I'm going to let mine expire. Wow, Mitch. That would be insane. Guys, tell me not to take this. Tell me to take the Snapcaster Mage. 
I don't care what you say anymore. Snappy doesn't get back anything. I have literal no targets for Snapcaster Mage. Guess it's got to be Nickel Brolis. Hostage Taker. That seems pretty nice. Through the Breach. Blood Braid Elf. I think it's just Hostage Taker here. Technical Bullets. Hope to build Verdant Catacombs. Solid strategy. I'll take a Concealed Courtyard. I'm game. I don't like these lands. Oh, boy. The stomping ground that we can get with the Windswept Heath. Feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I have to say, layout looks a lot cleaner now. Wait, when did it. On Magic Online? I thought you meant mine. I was like, really? Thanks. This is literally, that is literally my, that's my cube thing though, right? All my decks are cool, but they're probably not optimized. And I think that's okay. That's just my shtick. <laughs> that's literally my life philosophy. Hey man, what are you all about? Well, let me tell you, I'm cool, but I'm not very optimized. I'll take this fat idiot. Yes. Yes. Just like we drew it up, guys. Just like we drew it up. Does it have the old cube timer? What is he saying right now? Guys, can someone translate for Spencer? So this deck has Leovold. It has Garrick Apex Predator. It has Nicol Bolas Planeswalker. It has the Scarab God. It has Treachery. And Palace Jailer. If those casting costs don't get your get your jimmies rustling, then guys, you should go to the doctor because your jimmies are likely broken. Copperline Gorge last pick? Somebody likes us. Still no power though. That's unfortunate. There's a Verdant Catacombs. And also a Woodland Foothills. Woodland Foothills gets Stomping Ground and Bayou. Verdant Catacombs gets Stomping Ground and Bayou. So they're both going to get the same thing, I guess. They're both going to get the green and black components. This gets a swamp and a forest. This gets a mountain and a forest. I feel like we want the Verdant Catacombs more. Because we have a, a... Yeah, I feel like we want the Verdant Catacombs more. Underground Sea. Sounds good. I'll take it. And now this Verdant Catacombs can get an Underground Sea. So this Verdant Catacombs can get literally every color, I think, except for white. We can get blue, red, black, and green. Bloodstained Mire and Scrubland, huh? These lands are fantastic. I think it's Scrubland here because we have three fetch lands already. Plus this lets our uh, Verdant Catacombs get a white now. So that's pretty sweet. I'm a big fan of this mana base here. We have like a lot of fixing lands. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 fixing lands right now. We're, you're fantastic. You did get me. I feel, a little, I feel a little got right now. Now we just need seven more playables. I think we'll be fine. Like, we can play Makeshift Mannequin. We can play, uh... I guess that's it for our sideboard slot. <laughs> I actually don't hate Manamorphos in decks like this just because it's a nice, uh... 
it's a nice way to fix. I don't think we can play Force. We have literally three blue cards in the deck. I think we're probably just taking Elspeth. I like Portal too, actually. Portal might be the pick. Yeah, we'll take Portal. It's easier on the mana. It makes sure we can hit our land things. Six? Oh, I didn't... Did I not count Nicol Bolas? One, two, three, four. You're right. You're right. My bad. That was my bad. Savannah and Steam Vents? Wow. So what do we have? Windswept, Marsh, and and Verdant all get Savannah. None of them get Steam Vents, unfortunately. I think we just want the Savannah. <laughs> do we not want the land, Nick? You guys want Factor Fiction? Fine. I'll take the Factor Fiction because I do think we need playables. I agree with you. God dang it, guys. You guys are so... We only have... Man, I guess we have Creeping Tarpet and Botanical Sanctum is fixing for blue as well, so... We also have Azorius Signet. I think our... I like that we have a Signet... Uh, we have we have Leovold Signet, so that's nice. Hmm. See, this time I probably will take this Tropical Island because that's just the, that's just insane. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Oh, butterfree! Wow, what's up? I am who I am. Uh, we're definitely taking mind twist here, especially with two signets and a worn power stone. Boy, crypto commands ambitious, huh? Vindicate seems great. Uh, I think we're just taking vindicate. Um, it's either Vindicate or like Bitter Blossom and I don't think I care about the Bitter Blossom we have five creatures but I don't think we're winning with creatures we have Scarab God two, two really beefy beefy boys I also don't think Bitter Blossom is going to really like we also have Animate Dead so we can Vindicate or Abrupt oh, Decay I guess are we a moat deck guys are we moating I hope that's Savannah Wheels. Scarab God does not need to attack. Oh, Gruul Signet comes back? Wow, this deck is looking spicy. A Johnny? I feel I feel better. Wow, we passed Blur Twin into Seaver Exarch here. Yeah, I'll take an Ajani. I feel better about taking the Ajani now that we have a Gruul Signet. So. Manamorphose? I'll play it. Gijin? Or Disallow? We'll take the double white card because we're leaning heavily, more heavily on double white cards. Plus we have... Moat in the signboard. Wow, we could have got Wildfire and Burning of Zinni. Crutch Jr., I feel bad about not getting that Wildfire and that Burning of Zinni because we could have just done that again. Might take out the Ajani here. I think we actually take out Gideon. I'm not a huge Gideon fan. Uh, we can also take out Sphinx. And Mesmeric Fiend. I think that's fine. Look at these 14. This is ridiculous. With three Signets, I think Ancient Team is actually pretty great here. Oh, and we have an Burial Rites. What's in Burial Rites doing in the deck? This might be an Ulamog deck. We have Ancient Tomb, Worn Power Stone, three Signets. I think we actually just want Moat. Make sure everything else is good. I could take out Tide Hollow Skeller and just put in like Ulmog. Or Sphinx of the Steel Wind actually seems fine. It's actually playable. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can we can mind twist ourselves. Hope we hit Ulamog and not on Barrel Rights. That seems legit. All right, let's sort this by color. Jesus, <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Let's do it the other way. Nope, didn't want to do that. Sort by converted mana cost. Properties analysis. That's what we're looking for. All right. We are surprisingly light on green. Okay. Oh god, we broke it. <gasps> oh, we did it. We fixed it. Oh god, I was getting so nervous. Okay, so white is like one of our heaviest represented colors because we have two double white cards. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white sources. We can definitely see adding one, one planes. I got that. Nine. We have nine blue sources. Blue is also one of our heaviest represented colors. White Esper are still our heaviest represented. We have two red cards with a Johnny and this. And we have three green cards with this guy, Leovold and Abrupt Decay. So blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can see nine. And black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine, nine, nine. Green, we have one, two, three, martial arts, four, five, six, seven, eight. Red, we have probably a lot as well. One, martial arts, no. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's that's actually perfect. Wow, this, this mana base looks fantastic. I have no idea who we're going to play against, though, because these are two different cubes. So if we start... So if we start uh, and we play against someone with, like, uh, War of the Spark cards in their deck, we're like, well, we're just playing on two different cubes, my man. Ugh. Which cube did you draft? Watch, we're gonna, never going to find an opponent. Oh, we found it. Wow, I'm really curious as to what happens here. This is fascinating. This is so fascinating. Check my previous comment. I was about to stand up and yell, called it. And... What? That's not your... That doesn't make sense. Hold on. Do I have to keep going? Now, only if Moto lets us find with this current deck, I think I may freeze when we play one of our boys, which we're not supposed to, like, error. Yeah, this sounds fine. We don't have a white, but we do have like literally all three Sultai dual lands. Not even... What? What's happening? Oh, okay. I was like, are you just going to discard something on turn one? Or what's what's the what's the deal here, my man? Uh-oh. 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 I'm just going to keep waiting because last time it worked, so. Matthew, glad to see you, buddy. Glad you're not in the sub yet. Isn't that so, New York? I'm walking over here. I set up the old N64. Oh, man. Some Banjo-Kazooie. Wow. I have passed my turn, correct? They are waiting on Tremeshin. Tremeshin. I'm walking here. 
That's what we say in New York. I'm walking over here. Is it... I don't know what's going on right now. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. I'm trying to really... I'm really trying to get through this emotional period in my life. That Azoria signal was a great draw. There's one tunnel. Stop taking the F train. <laughs> oh, man. My shenanigans crashed your internet? Wow. I'm a maniac. He's a maniac. I always worry if it's doing, like, whenever there's an update, I'm like, is it doing that old Magic Online thing where their clock is going down, but it's actually your clock going down? That stuff was ridiculous when it would do that. Do you guys remember that? Where, like, it would look like their clock was going down, but then you restarted and you were, like, five minutes lower and it was actually waiting for you. That error hasn't been a thing for a while, but, you know, it's always, I always worry that it's come back, right? Like, it's, oh, no, it's, that error creeped back in. Cause that error creeps. Yeah. No, I think we're still good. Yeah, we just restarted and it's still their clock ticking down, so. Oh, but now it's... Okay, well, I guess they literally just uh, did the thing. Uh, quit. I guess they literally passed, passed the old priority. Oh, wow. Scrubland? That's a good draw. I guess we'll play Scrubby Boy. Look at this beautiful mana. I'm your big fan. Why you know let Signet resolve? We have a good time. Oh, what up, Means McMugs? If you guys haven't done so, can you guys go to uh, CoolStuffInc.com and check out my new article? It's about Modern Horizons in the cube and what cards I think would be sweet additions to the cube. So go check that out and leave a comment. And if you use promo code FRANK5, you get 5% off. So it's kind of a big deal, guys. It's kind of like the biggest thing in America right now. Can you link it? I think so. There you go. Story time. Will you do a dramatic reading of your article instead? Sure. Sure, I can do that. Let's do it right now. Also, we are going to go over the, uh, the the final part of the the, the ballad of Mike B tonight. I'm going to wait for Mike B to actually be here. Mike B has to be here before we go over the ballad of Mike B. You guys get it. <clears throat> Modern Horizons. Cube updates from Modern Horizons. By Frank Lepore. Posted on June 5th, 2019. For any of you who may have, may have caught my stream, it should come as no surprise to you how big of a Cube fan I am. Whenever a new supplemental set is released, like Commander or Masters or Modern Horizons, I like to take a look at some of the more fun cards in the set to see which ones have applications in the Cube. Which Cube? Well, any really. Whether you have a Powered Cube or an Unpowered Cube, cards like Fractured Identity or Leovold, Emissary of Trest, should fit just fine. So I don't worry about any that anything from Modern Horizons is going to be too out of the question. That's how it would start. <laughs> okay, that's whole supplemental. I don't know what. Oh god, why is it so? Why is it taking so long? What's going on? I guess I, I might even. The funny thing is, I I almost have time to read this entire article for you guys. Yes, if you're curious about my own cube, which is usually the lens I view these cards through. 
You can find it here. Insert link to cube here. I'm a big fan of 360 card cubes because you know that every card will be included in an eight-person draft. When you're playing with a larger cube, it can sometimes be difficult to draft specific strategies or combos, never knowing if the necessary card is even in the selection you're drafting from. My cube is basically a modified version of the Magic Online Vintage Cube, but I removed the Storm archetype because it took up the most space. While also including the most cards that didn't really do anything outside of the archetype. Brain Freeze, The Rituals, Yawgmoth's Will, Lion's Eye Diamond, etc. Many of those cards simply don't have real homes, with very little overlap, so despite how fun the deck can be, Storm seemed like the obvious choice when it came to archetypes to remove due to its minimal overlap. I removed Rob's mom because she took up the most space. <laughs> wow, that was that was on point. Do we have to restart again? Should we restart after every turn? Are you telling me those cards are homeless? <laughs> uh, you know, I personally would not use that terminology. I would say I would say residentially challenged. Those cards are residentially challenged. That's what I would say. But seriously, go to the article on CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. Leave a comment. Leave a like or a subscribe. And, uh, you know, do the thing. Are we going to have to arena today? No way. We're draw we're riding this guy out. This is going to be this is a this is a this is a labor of love, my dudes. Revolution, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Wait, I missed what you said. You wrote an article about Modern Horizons and Cube. Is that on Cool Stuff? Yes, it is. It went up today. That was my Modern Horizons Cube article. Come on, you guys know what's happening. Is this, is it stalling for you? Or, or are your plays just that complicated? Do, what if I like restart again? Let's see if that does work. I'm trying to see if like, if you only get a turn and then you're like, nope, too bad. Okay, we did it again. We restarted after our turn. It was still click. It, the clock is still going on, on down on them. Let's see after everything loads if it's if we get priority though, because that's weird. People still watch basketball. Yes, I imagine people still watch back. Are they still doing that? They're still doing that whole basketball thing. Weird. I thought that thing would have died out. Feels like it's been going on forever. Okay, so it is, it's not just us then. That's good to know. Also, sometimes I like videos like this where they're like predominantly chat. There's some gameplay going on, but we're having like a... So you guys, uh, you guys come here often? How do you guys, uh, what do you guys usually order when you come here? What's your favorite, what's your favorite dish to order when you get here, when you come here? I was also in your draft pod. I'm experiencing the same thing, only the free was on my end. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> I passed priority just in time. P 
contenders done quick. <laughs> I realized halfway through that we were in the same pot. I passed you the last pick, Copper Line Gort. Man, you are a, you are a kind soul for this five color deck, my my man. The Stinger, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Not like it. Not like I'm going to be able to. Not 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 like I'm going to be able to cast it sometimes. They're uh you know because we're not we're not playing, but. I order grande nachos and get them once. All my other friends are done with their meal. They're like, yeah, let me get the grande nachos. And they're like, do you want that as your meal or do you want that brought out first, like an appetizer? And you're like, you can bring it with the meal. And then they get they get their food, but then they just forget about your nachos. And you're like, I just wanted my nachos, man. White and black and a doo doo doo. Let's kill your blue and hope you don't counter this. Scry bug before update game. What does that mean? What what's that mean? Oh, what's he saying with the scry bug? Two, three, four. If they didn't have counterspell for vindicate, they probably don't have counterspell for course of portal. I'm okay with that. Rob just said, "Is it raining by you?" Let me let me look. Hold on. Let me check. I gotta check for the rain. No, it's 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 a very Florida day in the sense that like on the left side it's sunny and the right side it's a little bit darker. I'm gonna vote homage because I want to draw a card. And Garrick Apux Predatorio. Do we just factor fiction here? I think we're actually just going to play Signet because if they have Splinter Twin, like Deceiver Exarch into like Splinter Twin, I don't want to die. Well, I don't want to die. Oh, interesting. Now I never turn an appetizer to dinner there very inconvenient time. Oh, the uh, after dinner appetizer? I accept. All right, well, that's obnoxious. Yeah, I can't do anything here. Let's go homage. All right, all these lands are pretty pretty spicy. We have six mana, so we have seven mana, eight mana, eight mana card in our hand. Our mana base is incredible, dude. Sure. Why is MTG Twitter always in such a weird place? You mean like on Twitter? I feel like that's where they keep it. They keep the MTG Twitter on Twitter, right? So. Five OG duels. Yeah, this is uh, this is half of the dual lands that are in the cube. That's pretty sweet. Oh, Lotus Bloom, eh? Well, if they're tapping sick... Do we have anything we care about? Scarab God, I guess. This is actually fine. They're probably just going to get Scarab God, but that's okay, because if we can kill it, then it goes back to us, right? I'm a big kid, look what I can do. Yeah, the Sphinx in the hand is pretty good. Well, a Sphinx in the, a Sphinx in the hand is worth two in the bush. Hostage Taker? Wow, that's just rude. Rude's Mictus. Don't you want to, in fact, respond? No, I mean, we'll just do it at the, we'll do it at the end of the turn in response to them untapping things. Wow! All right, we hit two of our, two of our three creatures here. Wow! 
Wow, that's rude. I mean, we have a, a draw and a Metamorphose draw to be able to hit a 7 drop. I might just want the Leovold and the... Actually, we can go a Johnny and kill this, too. We're probably just playing Garrick, right? And destroying their Planeswalker. Untap Steam Vents Island. We oh oh they didn't. Interesting. Fascinating. Kill him. They're going to play this Coercive Portal, I bet. Oh, they're just going to... Banishing Light? Oh, so we get to untap, go Nickel Bolas, kill the Banishing Light, get Garrick, and then... Oh, this seems like it's... Oh, man, this turn is going to be so... F oh, God, it's going to be so good, guys. Are you ready? This is going to be busted. Uh, let's do this. We need two blacks. So we need black, black, blue. Metamorphose. Use a green and a white. So we need a red and a blue, I guess. Doesn't really matter. We're just going to play Nicol Bolas. Destroy a non-creature permanent. Get rid of this. Do this. Make a beast. And then we have Nicobolus and Garrick on board. That seems good. <clears throat> uh, let's vote homage. You can have an extra card. That feels better for us. How much mana do we have? We can go 1-2. We can kill Hostage Taker. We can go 1-2, Animate Dead Scarab God. 1-2-3-4, Reanimate Hostage Taker. A Johnny? We both have a Johnny's? Unbelievable. Okay, all of this is fine. Do you kill this and then attack with the hostage taker for four? That seems good. But I mean, like, we can just gain control of this? The earliest video I remember yours was at Gilded Grixis, and every time you draft Bolas, it reminded me of watching that and making that deck and winning FNM. That deck was gas. Four, yeah, that sounds fine. I accept. Oh, we just, <laughs> the old the old attack your Garrick for four concede the game. Oh, they said sorry bug before update game before bug before update game. Not scry. I thought it said scry. I was like scry bug. What does that mean? So we could have gone untap. We could actually just play Sphinx of the Steel one, which is like immune to all of this nonsense. Uh, we could have destroyed the Ajani with this guy for plus. We could have stolen this. And put Sphinx down. Oh, man, that's nuts. Say what you want. Our deck is pretty cool. If this Garrick or this Sphinx of the Steel one was a Signet instead, I think we'd have... I'm going to still keep it because it's got four colors and a Mind Twist and a, an Abrupt Decay that we can conveniently cast off Concealed Courtyard and Botanical Sanctum. But I do wish we had another land and a, and a Signet would be nice. It 
if we didn't have Sphinx in hand, yeah, you're right. I don't think we can win that game either. But we did. So, you know. We did it. Oh, they're going to five? Oh, they just go to five and concede? No, that's not satisfying. A win is a win, I suppose. If you didn't... Yeah, so, like, I mean... If they get Sphinx, it's, it's sad because you can't kill it with Garrick because it's green. You can't kill it with Nicol Bolas because it's red. We'd have to... You can't kill it with Abrupt Decay because it might have a casting cost higher than three. I'm not sure what in our deck actually would be able to uh, deal with a uh, an AWOL Sphinx. Treachery and Vindicate are both good options, yeah. The Vindicate you used earlier than passed up Snap. Yeah, well, we didn't have Vindicate when we passed Snapcaster. We had zero spells. I don't know why that's even relevant. It's like you're just like trying to rub in things that 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 went well in 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 2020 hindsight but even so like we still only have like <sighs> on the draw this seems keepable on the draw we have two hits to hit a second land and then we get signet into worn power stone i'm gonna keep this hand let's go scrub land okay okay alternatively we can discard palace jailer and animate did it it's not terrible so I can make easy commentary. Yeah, I guess that's true. Why don't you take that Black Lotus on turn one? Dummy. Come on, one time. <sighs> Drafts Treasure Cruise, then passes Snapcaster. Don't you know how Delve works, idiot? Stupid. What a dummy. Eh. Eh. I mean, if they're just equipping Jitte here, I think that's fine. We could have Abrupt Decay. We have Palace Jailer for this guy. The best part about Palace Jailer is even if they kill it, they don't get their guy back. They have to actually be the Monarch. Or they have to actually attack us. They have to uh, come at us, bro, as, as it were. Oh, that's frustrating. Because we can't cast this and cast Abrupt Decay. It's problematic. I think it's more important to cast Worn Power Stone here. I think. I don't... I mean, like, they just plus this guy twice. They Like, we take five. It's not a big deal. It's significantly less impactful than being able to go like signet four mana if we hit a land five mana so i want you to play palace jailer and for people to not know how the card works then follow uh i killed their palace jailer and i didn't get my creature back um is that a is there a, it's clearly bugged well actually it's one of the few cards that exiles a creature that is a creature, and uh, that's not how that works. Oh, throw in the last troll. Wow, that's a that's a, that's problematic. But Scarab God, huh? Wow, throw in the last troll is a real scumbag. What we can do is actually factor fiction for a land. And then play the land, use Signet to get. Yeah, we're just gonna. We wanna play a land this turn. Wait, we found it. They're gonna put like Mind Twist and all the other cards together.
A hundred percent choosing pile one. One million thousand percent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could actually discard Palace Jailer just to play it next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana next turn. Mind Twist isn't even that relevant just because they have two cards, but I wanted the lands, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, seven mana. Like, we could Scarab God animate dead if we discard Palace Jailer. And without the Jitte, Thrun is pretty manageable. We could also discard Palace Jailer, or discard Scarab God and get a one mana discount, which lets us cast Gruel Signet, I believe. So discarding Scarab God actually seems better here. Especially because it's just going to come back when the animate dead leaves, right? Yeah, let's do that. No, because I don't want them to pump this guy. I don't want them to pump this guy in response. So we're just going to kill this now. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Because now we don't have to discard. Like, we can just play Scarab God and Gruel Signet next turn. Or Mind Twist them for like two and... Not have to worry about it. Well, mind twist for one, but. So we're at eight. They have one card in hand. So we can go to seven. So we can use this for one, just to make sure they don't have... anything relevant. Relevant. What can we get with Marsh Flats? Uh, Scrubland, right? Yeah, let's get a Scrubland. We want a White Source, and I think everything else is pretty irrelevant. There's a Maelstrom Pulse? Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> That gets rid of uh, the card that would actually deal with this and allow them to attack for six. Wall of Blossoms? Nope, don't care about that. So what's in the graveyard? No creatures, literal no creatures are in the graveyard right now. Sure, I'll block. I will block your 4-4 four four with my 5-5. Five five. This is just a test. They're like, let me see if I can get this through. Zero creatures. There will be no reanimating today, my friend. Oh, well. But then again, Palace Jailer just seems very unexciting here. If we take one of these guys, they still have two attackers. We can go block, block, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go down to six. We could just play land and then Vindicate Palace Jailer. No, we don't have three white. So we can go Course of Portal Vindicate. I really don't want to Vindicate one of these idiots. That seems pretty unimpressive. So I think we just go Signet Stomping Ground. Just Palace Jailer or something just to, get the, just to be the Monarch right now. It's unexciting, but I really don't want to take more damage when we're at four when we're at seven and they have a thrun. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. City's blessing. Six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can actually play pretty much anything we draw here. We have black, black, blue, red. We have green, black. We have blue, black, white. Any of our seven or eight mana spells are live right now. This deck is pretty fun. Survival of the fittest. Okay, well, I assume if you had a creature last turn, you would have just played it. 
So I don't think you have a creature in hand, and it was ultimately a mox pearl. So we are correct. Still no creatures in graveyards. That is... Nailed it. <laughs> sometimes you just... Sometimes you just run into a nickel bolus. Like you do. One, two, three, four. Black, blue. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This fat gentleman. Get rid of your survival. And we still get to draw a card from the monarch? My god. <laughs> what a time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, that guy just comes back. Do they do they attack us to get their to become the monarch, or do they attack? That's interesting. So they get to be the monarch, which is totally fine. I'll go to three here. Because now we should be able to get through somehow. Like we can kill this, kill the other dude. They draw one card. Not, not a huge deal. We could also play Garrick, kill their wall, steal their elf, become the monarch. We gain the life from the wall, which is toughness, right? Oh, yeah, we gain four. That's actually really helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have four mana left over. Good course of portal. One, two, three, four... Five, six, use this. We could also animate dead something, but that doesn't seem exciting. Oh, do we overpay? Wow, that's that's aggressive. This guy do 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 destroy this guy. And I guess we're definitely playing our land here. Let me be the monarch. We can also animate dead this just because, like, we have Scarab God. It doesn't really matter. I'd rather just draw the card and have a blocker. Did I say City's Blessing? I meant the monarch. That's why you questioned it in chat. I was like, yeah, City's Blessing. What's wrong with that? Whatever. It's a weird, obscure token that sits in the middle of the board that has no real... Uh, I don't. I really don't care about Course of Portal. We have both of these dudes on board. I think I'd rather just animate dead this. Super unexciting, but it guarantees us a blocker for Thrun. Draws us a card. I really. I'm, I'm also interested in saving Garrick. <laughs> There's no Mike B here. It's been a whole mess. Oh, we can just play that too. I'll probably just play that. Bayou seems fine. Wow, our mana base is phenomenal. <sighs> so we can just play Moat and sit behind two humongoid planeswalkers? That seems good. I guess don't have Crater Hoof here. Okay, that's not a Crater Hoof. You can actually one, two, three. Yeah, so this is good because now they can kill this guy and then we still have a blocker. Otherwise, we would have went to two. And they would have been, or they, or they would have killed Garrick, and they'd become the monarch. So, four X is one. Yeah, sure. You got it. What's more important at this juncture, being the Monarch for them or killing the Garrick? 
like looking at our board and like our hand i feel like we're in pretty good position here yeah negative that's a negative charlie steal this dude almost instantly create a beast play this fine dude one two three four five six seven play a stupid land we have 13 cards left okay we're just gonna win the game yeah that seems fine we got nicol bolas garrick scarab god pelucranos seems good i think this deck turned out well i don't know i'm no expert it's my first time doing this i don't even like our sideboard our sideboard's just like whatever If he gets Ewit and then plays re replays Maelstrom Pulse, like, I mean, he gets to kill one permanent, right? So then, like, he, he gets to kill Garrick, Nicol Bolas, Scarab God, or the Pelucranos that we stole. I'm pretty notorious for my famous last words. Let's see if there's been any Magic Online updates. No. I still don't know who we're playing against. Are we playing against people from our cube or from other cubes? I don't know. <coughs> this hand is pretty bust bad. I was going to say busted, but that, like, that's not the word I want. It's got so many colors, though. Whatever. Uh, cube doesn't go down until tomorrow, but look, it's a whole, it's a whole to do, Mossy Beard. It's a whole thing. Okay. I'm in. The green deck with no turn one plays, or turn two plays, pretty interesting. Okay. Now we're talking. We just we just hit the jackpot. We can get um, stomping ground with this. So we have black. Okay. Two, do you have jet and pearl? Good to know. Yep. That's a that's a gentleman. All right. And then all we need is one black source. Found it. So next time we have six mana, we can mind twist for five arena. Ideally, they just go land harmonize, right? That would put them down to three, go to six, and then we can mind twist for one, two, three, four, five. Gets gets rid of most things. Maybe they don't play anything. That'd be that'd be great too. Okay, well they played that. We're probably gonna play like acidic slime. Pelucranos, stop it. It's a lot of things. I'm not thrilled about them. Uh, I guess we don't need that much, right? We can actually, for three, keep up Animate dead, which is nice. Come on, Primeval Titan, Woodfall Primus. Wall of Blossoms. We just want Wall of Blossoms here. Probably. Unexciting, boy, boy. These uh, this animate dead is basically just a glorified wall of blossoms. And they have one, two, three, four, five. They need seven to deal with it. No, eight, nine, a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can go seven next turn. We can go with Johnny. Following turn, we can nickel bolus, but man, I will block here. One turn away from from uh, successfully mind twisting this Pelucranos, unfortunately. Never mind. Spoke too soon.
I wish a Johnny was plus two. That would be great. Unfortunately, that is not the world we live in. Goodbye, Johnny. Moat. We don't have a second white. No moat. Actually, it's not terrible. Okay. I mean, we're getting somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have we have the eight mana. We can go to we can take four, play seventh land, take four, play seventh land, play eighth land. Nickel bolus doesn't do anything. It's no great. It's no great. Second white source. We can also block with creeping tarpet if we really, really need to. Sphinx actually does not do it here because we would die. We can't block the the throne, so it would kill us on the on the third swing. Wow, this is how you're gonna be. I think we're gonna block with Tarpet this turn because we don't we can't do it next turn. So if we draw something like Garrick, um, we would die to Kite Sail Freebooter. So we, we want to actually block this turn to stay at five. Black, blue. Sphinx has protection from... Wait, no, it works the other way, isn't it? We can block Sphinx. Never mind, I'm doing it backwards. Never mind, I'm an idiot. One, two, three... Four? Yeah, that's rough. We didn't leave ourselves any black mana. Oh, there's a moat and a metamorphose and a Sphinx. All the things we wanted are right here. They give us just the moat by itself. Oh, boy. I mean, we can't play it. So, we're dead. So, we're going to have to choose pile one. Play this. Play Manamorphose. And we're just, like, hoping for Vindicate here, right? Like, what's a three-mana spell we can cast on our deck? Leovold? Vindicate? So, we're going to have black and green because that gives us abrupt decay as well that gives us abrupt decay vindicate and gruel signet it gives us abrupt, abrupt decay vindicate and uh leovold so we could have cast any of those and then gone to one but yeah like we had several outs there um we had leovold vindicate uh abrupt decay so it happens we could just play Tide Hollow Skuller because they actually, it doesn't seem like they have many ways to deal with it. I don't think we actually need Treasure Cruise here. Actually, Mesmeric Fiend is just a better Tide Hollow Skuller, but it's too late now. Come on, not like this. 17 lands, 3 signets, and a worn power stone. Sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the bar eats you. I can't keep this, because we have, even if we hit like land, land, like we still just don't have plays. Fine. Ah, uh, bottom this. Like, we need a black source here. We have a blue source, we have a green source. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah, the variance of, the variance of, of Vintage Cube doesn't bother me at all because the you have answers for things like i mean if they have a bunch of dudes out we're probably just gonna kill this probably gonna get scrubland here because it gives us double white for palace jailer and it lets us abrupt decay 
Yeah, I know the thing I love about Vintage Cube is that like if I'm playing a War of the Sparks draft and your opponent has two two three two four 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 five out. In a regular draft, there's nothing you're going to be able to do against that. You're like, oh, I drew a, I drew a two three. Cool, I'll just play it and I'll die. In Vintage Cube, there are numerous draws you can have that that keep you in games that you might not be in otherwise. Did you figure out how you want to do the color wheel thing? If you do it tonight, I'll just catch it later. Yes, I did actually, and it looks like this. I I did a one through six number generator with with you know Wooberg order and six being colorless. So we have pick one green, black, blue, green, red, green, white, colorless. Uh, and I took out the 15th because it just doesn't make any sense. So 15, 30, and 45 are just not there because they're just auto picks anyway. Um, but yeah, could be good. Could be good. I'm looking forward to it. So I think me and Mike will do that one and we'll do the uh, the other one um, with, the, with the blind picks. But also... If we can fit in Crutch Jr.'s tip, not fit in, but like if it works out, we'll just do that one too. So, yeah, they've had turn, they've had thrown every single game. So, actually, if we can just, <laughs> all right, any land, any land except for Copper Line Gorge and Creeping Tar Pit, no Gorge, no Tar Pit. <sighs> I'm about to bust. Spencer, probably doing it tonight around maybe 10-ish. Yeah, you can actually take anything here, and it's fine. I mean, if we Palace Jailer this guy, then they get it back. Ugh. Yeah, Kite Self Freebooter is a real shitty draw here. Ugh, that's frustrating. They took Factor Fiction? Interesting. Still want land here. I mean, I guess we could still take Pelucranos, right? And then they have to attack... Well, they, they have to attack with these two. They, they could just attack with this, actually. Get it back immediately. But we could draw the card, and then, like... If we hit a land, we can just Treachery. Let's do that. I think it's still fine. Like, they're having Pelucranos, or they're not having Pelucranos. Like, they're, they're going to have it one way or the other. So... And if we get any land that lets us uh, cast it, to cast Treachery, then we're just in really good shape. That'll do. <clears throat> so we can steal Pelucranos. It'll be untapped, which is also nice. All right, well, we're not we're not dead yet on this Mulda 4. Could steal that guy, too. Oh, interesting. If you're just going to give me a free block with this, that's totally fine. Palace Jailer does nothing on the board. No, Palace Jailer has not been in the cube. This is the old version of the cube. <sighs> yeah, this is fine. They're going to have Master of the Wild Hunt and Pelucrano, so I'm not super excited about them. Uh, I, don't, I don't like our odds of getting in with a Pelucrano, so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's insane. Treachery, steal this guy. Well, that was uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the cube never left until tomorrow. The cube has always been up till tomorrow. Uh, you can't kill Master of the Wild Hunt. That is... We definitely don't have that much mana. This was this was fantastic. Especially we can we can actually uh, use Nissa. I don't think we have a forest. Oh, we can actually get Palace Jailer back to steal this dude. That's pretty good. Oh, that's that's actually fine. I mean, our odds of retaining the monarchy is pretty low. One, we can deal four damage. So we can deal two to this. No, we can deal two damage. So we can deal two to this. 
Or we can shoot these two. We're also at 10. Hmm. So we have three guys. Yeah, but getting rid of the Freebooter doesn't really do much. I'd rather go to the Master of the Wild Hunt. Like, this guy just deals us one. This guy deals... This guy's just making wolves every turn. I don't think we're going to do it now. I think we just... I don't want to... I don't want to use all our mana, because if we draw something like Moat, it's infinitely better than... Okay. Verdant Kitty Catacombs. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. We're going to keep our mana up, see what they do. See if they want to pay for this. Interesting. That's good for us. Because we can actually shoot these two if we want to. Still take a lot of damage though, right? They're not going to attack with Master of the Wild Hunt. Two, three, four, five. Also, deranged hermit in the graveyard is insane for us too because it lets us get back deranged hermit. I actually don't even want to block because then our Scarab God dies if they choose to fight with Master. So I think we're just taking three here. Four here, I guess, which is fine. And if you want to kill the Pelucranos and we'll eat two wolves, that's totally fine. What? Why would I deal all seven to this one? <laughs> what in the earth? No, dude. Sure. So what do we have? We have a red. We have... We need a second black source. So it's definitely underground or bayou. Um, let's just say bayou. We have three blue sources, so that's fine. This is a hell of a mold of four, to be honest with you. One, two, three, four, five... I like a Johnny Kill Master here, actually. But maybe not yet. Maybe Palace Jailer Kill. No, Palace Jailer doesn't do much, though. Maybe just get, it might just get Deranged Hermit back. No, it's, that's actually a meme. Like, everyone confuses me with Frank Karsten. Me and Frank Karsten get confused for each other all the time. Whenever I would go to events, people would come up to me and be like, hey, I love your math articles on CFB. And I'm like, my math articles? What math article did I write? Uh, we have 840, they have 11. Okay, so we're not doing terribly on time. This is the only creature we're worried about if we get back to range tournament. My concern is they do have a buttload of cards in hand, so I kind of like the life gain, but I think just getting to range tournament back is pretty nuts. Shoutouts to uh, Eclectic Games in Reading UK and to the guys who draft in the Brunswick Swansea. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Math? What are you talking about math? Yeah. 
Yep, that's pretty good. Did they play a land to do this? I hope so. They did not. That's a yikes for me, dog. Mm hmm. Don't play land, don't play land, don't play land, don't play land, don't play land. Yep, they played a land. <sighs> cha 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 cha. Oh, this is nice. Oh, uh, we don't have Wrath. We do have Moat. So, that's good. Also at five, which is pretty low. I guess we'll use a black mana. You know, if that's, if that's your thing. Uh, they can deal two with Master because they only have one wolf, so that's fine. Man, this giving them the Monarch was pretty brutal. Uh, let's put this on first. I want to kind of see what we get here before I go crazy. Worn Power Stone, bottom. Moat. No, you can go. Animate dead. Is that good? I don't know. We can actually kill the master and then animate dead? Is that good? Maybe? I mean, it's something, right? Like, the life is relevant. Yep, figured they'd kill a squirrel. It's totally fine. Do we just animate dead this guy? We can't make it Palace Jailer, but like, we got a lot of blocking to do. We could Palace Jailer this guy, but it's not ideal. Thank you. If they have a land, I think we're probably dead anyway, but. I mean, we can kill their flyer with the Master of the Wild Hunt as well. Like, it doesn't have to be Pelucranos. We can't do Pelucr We can't do either one this turn. Cave Cub, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And we're 100% this. I just want to see what my highlights are. And yeah, we'll just get Master. It is five color good stuff. We had to mulligan to either five or four this game. So, like, we've been on the back foot for quite a while. But whatever. We're here now. We're hoping that for the that out of our four card hand our opponent has that uh there won't be any lands. Yep, that's pretty good. And we'll just go to planes. Pretty sure we're dead here. Pretty sure we're dead here. Wall of Blossoms. Did you just have three spells? Oh my god, really? Fascinating. They have eight creatures, we have three, so we can actually survive this. I'm not dead yet. Block. I honestly, I think the uh, the one twos are more relevant than the wolf block here. Uh, block here. How, what do we start? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we actually don't kill the elf. We just want to chump block here. Like, we're still hoping for...
Yeah, all right. <clears throat> like, we're still hoping for, for moat here. <laughs> Shoot this guy, play moat. Scarab God, get back. Seems decent. Can keep Avenger tapped down. Come on, moat. Oblivion ring. One, two, three, four. We can't do both, though. One, two, three, four, five. We can't Oblivion Ring this guy. How many blockers do we have? One, two. We can Oblivion Ring. No, we can shoot you. This guy's getting tapped down, but oh man, I want the ability, right? We want the ability locked down. I guess we Oblivion Ring the Flyer. One, two, three, four, five. We only have seven mana. If we draw Sphinx, it's pretty bad for us when we can't actually cast it. Um. Oh, I should have gotten rid of this guy. That was so bad. All right. Well, we can block two things and shoot one. So we take two and die. I think we're just dead here. If we had any removal spell. And that's also, that just assumes they don't have a land as well. So, yep. They're going to play that and then play a land. Yep. All right. Yeah, we had a good run. I think if we did Mulligan to five, this game would be a significantly different game, but. Yeah, I think we like we, we, we pulled that we pulled that match out pretty well, all things considered. Me and my friends have drafted War of the Spark as a block draft twice now, and I think the format is so good. Do you think they'll ever try it already? Um, they've done things like that sometimes, but it seems a little random to just do that, like where you have Guilds of Ravnica. Not Guilds of Ravnica. Is it Guilds of Ravnica? Ravnica Allegiance, War of the Spark, and Ravnica... And is it Guilds of Ravnica? Is that what it's called? Is that that set? Is that that I forgot what the first set... Is Guilds of Ravnica, right? Yeah, it was Guilds of Ravnica. Oh, the old Guild's Allegiance War. That's a classic. Karn liberated on top. Oh, Moat seems okay. Karn liberated gets rid of a Moat, guys. I don't know if you knew that. Karn Garrick. Kind of just run a grew to this guy, to be honest, but. Did I mean nothing to you? Karn, Garrick, Jace. Man, they have drawn a, an embarrassment of planeswalkers. Okay. I will take two more damage. Is this a Garrick? That's a Marari's Wake. That's a yikes for me, dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Oh, I like that. One, two, three, and then we can Oblivion Ring this thing. And then we can Factor Fiction Eot. Emrakul! Jesus, what is even happening? Oh boy. So their hand is Karn, Garrick, Jace, and then there's an Emrakul on top. Ain't that some. Well, I guess they're playing Garrick here. Gary! Oh, hello, little Gary. Make a wolf. You got it. One, two, three. Fact or fiction. Split him up. Is it just these in Treasury? That'd be hilarious. I would laugh. That's really good for Treasure Cruise, though. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Eight mana. Oh, yeah. We'll choose this one for sure. It's, we're choosing this one specifically because we already have lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We don't have double white. We kind of want to. We probably want to moat here, but they can't play Karn next turn, and they're we're drawing. They're drawing an Emrakul, and we actually do want to play a land, even though we could play a land with treachery on top. We want to be able to have five mana. So, yeah, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Steal your gentleman. One, two. Did I just, did I not add double? Yeah, we did. All right. Add, steal this guy. We have one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Treasure Cruise is like basically free. We know they're drawing Emrakul and they have nothing else they can play. That's pretty good. Ch -ch -ch Treasure Cruise. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Draw Vindicate. Don't want to draw that. We could just play Moat, and they really have nothing they can do next turn. Which is pretty good. Like, because you know they have Karn in hand and no land. They have Jace, and they're going to draw Emrakul. And they have one unknown. So I actually think this is pretty safe to do. We could play Signet, but I don't think we really need to. We're drawing a Verdant Catacomb, so it's not super relevant. Three to that guy. Oh, that was just to flip the Gary? Okay. Flipping the Gary. You guys ever flipped the Gary before? That's uh Well, they're pretty far from Jace. They're not that far from one, two, three. Actually, they're pretty far from both Jace and Karn. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna vindicate this guy. What? No, use the what? Oh, I, pl I never mind. I'm a dummy. I'm not very smart, you see. Uh, yeah, we'll kill this guy. We'll scarab god in the near future. Yep, that's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I 
Okay, don't really want that. So we're going to play this guy. Always gain the life. I mean, if they Karn, and they, they have like Treachery, Oblivion Ring, or Moat as options to, to get rid of. I guess they can also go to Scarab God if they hit a land. Uh, that's worse. Yeah, but what can you do? Do we play land? Let's make sure we play the land. Oh, we played the Verdant Catacombs. Ha 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 ha. Did we just not play land? No, we played land last turn. We play land every turn. It is turn. It is our turn seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We did we miss a land drop? That's unbelievable. What turn do we not play land? Yep, saw that coming. So you have your your pick of the litter here. You might just want the Demarari's way because then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's not enough. And another land is only fourteen. Did I pass it like three lands in hand? That seems like fake news. Yep, that's what they're hitting. All right, that seems fine. I'm okay with it. We have so many live draws here. Um, ideally, we just hit a Garrick. Garrick Apex Predator is really the... Uh, that's the dude we want. Or Nicol Bolas. Sphinx of the Steelwind is... It's actually fine, but I don't... The Karn makes it kind of obnoxious. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's only 12 mana. Hostage taker seems very good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we can just do that. Yeah, they're probably going to exile this guy, which is fine because they lose Karn. And if they choose to not do that, I guess they could play Jace and bounce it. That doesn't really do much, though. They go Jace, they bounce it. Okay, so we know they have Jace and Emrakul in hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's not 15 yet. So. Not Emrakul yet. I don't know if this does anything, to be honest with you right now. They have to get kind of get rid of this, or else we just kill the Karn. Well, I guess don't kill the Karn. Karn goes to seven. But... Hmm. Magic is a hard game. Do they have something for 12? This is an X spell for sure. Time Spiral? Oh, dear lord. Wow, if we hit that one more... I guess it, I guess the graveyards don't matter. There's nothing in the graveyard, so... Wow, I guess we're just hoping you didn't hit... Jesus. And you just drew Emrakul again? Yep, it's pretty brutal. That's pretty brutal. 18 mana, huh? Yep. Father is not, father is not pleased. This is not what father likes. 20 mana, the full 20 mana.
Just, just kill me. Exile this and just kill. What's going on? Just come on, come on. Twenty mana. T -t Today, Junior. Do they cast these spells? You may put any number of permanent cards onto the battlefield. Nice. Okay. Okay, this is unimpressive. Rex Sage. Oh, I guess Rex Sage gets rid of Moat, but they don't have a lot of creatures anyway. Manglehorn gets rid of. Nope, doesn't do that. Fast Bond. Jace is good. But this is actually not super impressive. I'm actually okay with this. This is irrelevant now. <laughs> Wow, this is this is nice. So they get a bunch of lands. They get a Draga Tree Speaker, a Rex Sage, a Fauna Shaman, a Manglehorn. Manglehorn can hit like one of these two, that's fine. I guess it no, it can hit Treachery, which is great. Rex Sage can hit Treachery, but you're definitely gonna hit the moat here. We can also mana morphos to kill something like this Nissa, which I think is good, or this Fauna Shaman. I think it's probably Fauna Shaman. But I guess it's not it's not a threat yet, right? Like we can also just untap and do that. We can also untap and like Palace Jailer or something. We could, we could Abrupt Decay Rex Sage, get back Rep Sage, and kill Mirari's Wake. They have three cards in their deck? That's insane. They killed Power Stone and they're killing Moat. That's fine. What do you mean, Force Draw? What are, you, what are you saying right here? What are you saying right now, Beers? Oh, boy. Oh, they're just going to cast something else with their 10 mana. It's okay, guys. They still got 10 mana. Here comes, here comes, here comes Crater Hoof that they just happened to draw. This is a this is a real emotional roller coaster here. Wait, draw three? Do we have any way to draw make them draw a card? I don't think so, right? There's no, like, if this dies, draw a card, right? Wow, that is insane. This is grotesque. They have zero cards in their library, man. One, two, three. So there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They have three lands somewhere, right? So this is six. If they can put two more lands into play, they get to play Emrakul, right? I assume it's not a sixteen land deck. If it's a sixteen land deck, we might actually be. We might actually be alive. Because if they just go land, land, it's six, seven, eight. No, that would be... I don't know. I'm confused. Well, that is... That Jace activations means one more creature is going to stay on the board, which is nice.
Do we have any way to force opponent to draw? Welcome to what I've been asking myself for the past 10 minutes. I don't think so. There's one. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're just trying to get Emrakul into play, but... So this is 6-7. This is 14 mana. If I'm not mistaken, I can't find another mana anywhere. Okay. Doesn't have haste. Put a counter on all your dudes. Like, this is... Like, we're basically dead anyway if we can't survive, so... Oh my god, if they draw a card here... Oh no, it doesn't do anything, because them, them being the monarch is like... Exile Sphinx. Sure, that's sad. I has a sad. Well... Sure, sure. Like, none of these dudes can attack, which is nice. So I think we actually want to Manamorphose here to draw an extra card. But then we can just do it next turn too, right? No, they're going to go to one card on their turn. If we can make them draw two cards somehow. I don't know if there's even a card in our deck that would allow that. <laughs> this is pretty nuts, man. I don't even know what's happening in this. This deck was sweet, but I feel like we're... I'm just going to untap because Manamorphose is the same on both turns. Draw Animate Dead, which is... Surprisingly, had no cards in any graveyard this game. Vindicate. What does that do? Let's play Verdant Catacombs. Manamorphose. One. Two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we'll go black. Never gonna need the red. Probably black, white. I guess. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's not great. This is gonna be five. What do we even have? Like I don't even know what we have in our deck that can do anything about this. Uh, we, I have a feeling we cannot block enough to survive. That is my, that is my estimation. Unless we go like, vindicate, Avenger of Zendikar. Do we have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are too shy. Too shy. Palace Jailer is an option. We can Palace Jailer the Avenger. That doesn't kill it though. Wow, this is this is this is pretty insane. Yeah, we can vindicate this, but the, the Mirari's Wake is really gonna do a number on us, unfortunately. We could abrupt one two one two three one two one two three four one two we are we are one shy of doing everything we want to do here. Cause we could also kill the Rex Sage reanimate the Rex Sage to kill the Mirari's Wake. Garrick Hailer and then animate dead? What is that? I don't know what that means. Garrick Hailer? Oh, Garrick on this guy, and then gain seven, go to eighteen. I mean, there's a bunch of two, three plants here, and then they'd be I guess they can't they can't use that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We make eight guys. It's 
actually an option. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are one shy of not having to use Ancient Tomb, which is pretty stupid, but... I mean, I kind of like... I, I like Garrick better because it gains a seven life. So we can go... Green. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do this. We can play Garrick, kill this guy, animate, dead it, put a bunch of lands into play, crack verdant catacomb. I don't know if this does anything, right? I mean, we also know they have Emrakul, right? So like, this all this is all probably for nothing. Like, they're just going to hard cast Emrakul, right? Yeah, they have four cards. They just hard cast Emrakul, kill us. Yeah. Well, my time is it. Like, I have 12 minutes. I'd rather just play the next round. I'd rather just play the next game. Uh... Is there anything that wasn't great here? What do you think of the new UI? I think it looks good so far. I have no real issues with it. I do not see a problem. No, this draft has taken quite a bit. Yeah, this seems fine. Any blue or red, and we can cast things. I'm I'm okay with this mesmeric fiend. They likely don't have a way to deal with it. And we did. Let's see what you show me what you got. Time spiral again. Nissa, Garrick, Kiora. I'm gonna take the Garrick because I don't care about these other ones. You got it. and forest played planes they played planes and forest I guess another their hand is keyword time spiral and whatever they drew yeah, that seems fine uh, I have no idea if it's still offering those picks but we definitely got in when it was when it was the old picks
You got it. Hostage taker? Huh. Well, they are missing land drops. So I'm just going to go... Yes. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. I really don't want this guy to just come in and kill a Johnny. That seems pretty sad. But I also don't want you to have mana here. So I guess we can tap this guy down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up with Cube? Nothing right now, I don't think. Um, so when we first started, it was the previous Vintage Cube. Um, so we have cards like uh, Nicobolus Planeswalker in the deck. But they said they fixed it, so you got me. One day I'll make a plant out of you. Do. Be a plant, you must be quick as a raging fire. You must be quick as a great typhoon. No, 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 so. Yeah, there's a palace jailer too. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think we played a land that turn, so that's cool. Boy, that was a, that was a rough distraction. Magic is hard when you're focused on things. Awkward. Well, this is never coming into play untapped, so. No, we this this doesn't come into play tapped just because we missed a land drop. Untapped just because we missed a land drop, you nerds. Yes, but we didn't have... <laughs> oh, man. Why don't you guys just shut up? Did you ever think about that? Did you ever think about why you don't shut up? God. Unbelievable. Don't talk to me like a mic. Wow. Jesus. It's aggressive. Wow. What are you posting here, Spencer? Is that porn? Don't be posting porn in the chat, Spencer. I think it's this. It's probably just underground here because we have enough mana and this lets us block if they want to attack. Yeah, that's all we can really do. We could have also just killed the Nyssa. So you know they have Cure and Time Spiral in hand. Yep, cure is fine. Okay. Did they not miss it this turn? Oh wow! So we're both we're both messing up then. That's great. That's just great. They did, Nissa? Doesn't look like it, right? 
Oh, they made a plant token? Then they played four? Oh, I guess it's just me. It's just me messing up, guys. Don't worry. It's okay. That's what I said. It's just me. I said it's just me messing up. Uh, attack. What's more important to just kill? Yeah, probably Nissa. Attack Kiora. That's why the plant has summoning sickness. Wow, you guys are really smart. You guys are... It's really... You guys are really smart. I'm really glad we're friends. Hey, chat. I'm glad we're friends. Target permanent doesn't untap. We're going to click on this, this bad boy. This angry Larry. I'm putting that on my LinkedIn profile. You guys are really smart. I'm glad we're friends. Frank Laporte, 2019. That's good. Can you uh, can you list me as a referral so that I get that, that bonus when you get hired? Sir, did anyone refer you? Uh, Frank did, yes. Who's that? Uh, he doesn't go here. He goes to a different school. You wouldn't know him. He's from Canada. Oh, Manglehorn with no creature on board. It's aggressive. They're going all in on this. Uh... Do they have one of those things that I can use? Oh my god. Maybe they do. Oh, Butterfly Biscuits. Blue, black, white, two, three, four, five, six. I just hard cast this. I'm going to keep this tap down because the last thing I want you to do is time spiral and uh, we can just kill this next turn. <laughs> hey, you're from Canada? You know Steve? Yeah, man, we, we know. I know everybody. They all, we're all close. We're all real close. I was just talking to Steve the other day. He said, what's up? Genesis wave for two? Oh yeah, that's going to be the end. That was a desperation wave, if I ever saw one. Okay, the game has ended. <laughs> Apparently, Sphinx of the Steel Wind against the mostly green deck is pretty good. It's pretty good. Do we have any, like, I wish we had a Wrath Effect. I wish we had a Languish. I would give my leg for a Languish, my entire leg. I might want to take Treasure Cruise out for Gideon. Gideon seems like a higher impact card here. Also, Tide Hollow Skull, they don't seem to have a ton of answers for cards like this. Maybe take out like Animate Dead. Has Factor Fiction done much? What are you, Maniac? I mean, like, just board in Utamog. <laughs> you know, I don't hate the idea. But we do want to be like a little faster than they are, I think. I think this is fine. Where is Mike? He's dead. Mike's dead. He's no longer with us. It's, I don't want to talk about him. You seem really okay. I'm not okay with it. Okay. Hey. Hey. I'm not okay with this is how I cope, okay? You let me you let me grieve in my own way, okay? Don't don't judge my grieving process. Unbelievable. On his birthday no less. On his birthday. How dare you? How dare you? This is how I grieve. This is how I mourn. Now he'll be... 
I'll be unemployed in heaven now with the rest of the angels. I've never seen a sideboard so tiny. Holy smokes, that is the rudest thing you could say to someone. Don't comment on the size of a man's sideboard. That's unbelievable. No black for twist? Buddy, we got Manamorphose right here, my man. And we could just draw Verdant Catacomb. But nevertheless. You ever seen a you ever seen a Manamorphose before? I'm sitting at my desk cracking up. That's what you're here for. You're here for this high quality content. Mana what knows now? <laughs> yeah, nailed it. No, 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 nailed it. Uh, so we can mind twist for three. If they go land thing, we just kill their hand. Yes. Excellent. Oh, that's that's nice. Oh, I want to watch him use library with Leovold out. Oh, so do I. We're just going to play Leovold next turn. Oh, we're going to... Oh, my goodness. Guys. Leovold. I don't think their deck has that many answers to a Leovold unless they play Garrick Relentless. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? Eh, what are you going to do? You know, sometimes they have a, the Garrick Relentless, huh? I, I don't want to twist their hand because they have Sylvan Library, so they can literally just rebuild their hand. I'd rather get rid of Garrick because Garrick's going to kind of get out of control here. So I think we just go with Johnny Kill Garrick. It's not exciting, but it's okay. So what do we need? We need a black source for sure. And I'll, I like a second white source. And then we have black, blue, green. We got all that. Yeah, we can do pretty much everything with the scrubby boy. Old scrubbery, scrubberuski. Leo turns off everything. Oh man, this is it. This is the deciding game to determine whether we go 2-1 or 1-2. Or this is emotional. Guys, I'm getting really emotional. I don't care about that at all. It's like the... That's like so boring. If we draw a land, I might actually go Mind Twist you for one Leovold and just hit one of the random cards in your hand. I think that's pretty good. <gasps> they prevented all damage dealt to and dealt by this and then they attacked it oh that was amazing we only have one black oh we have metamorphose never mind i'm an idiot wow that's amazing so black and we'll use the red here so we're gonna metamorphose we're gonna use White is not necessary, and red is not necessary. So we can get green, get a second black, and get a green. And we'll play Leo. Uncle Leo! Done. Fauna Shaman's fine. We play the land. I guess we'll tap down... Eh, tap down your breeding pool. That was pretty that was pretty well. That worked out pretty well. He had an eleven and twelve shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Oh, oh my God! Now we get to draw a card. This is just unbelievable. Look at Leovold. Look how look how hard this Leovold works. God, he's the hardest working elf in show business. That's a deal. You got a deal. Manglehorn, kill my dude. I'll draw another card. You got it. Look at all these cards I'm drawing. They have no cards in hand. Just phenomenal, guys. Just phenomenal. You don't get to be a spy master without putting in the work. That's a good point. That's like that's worth that's worth uh that's worth considering. We have five minutes on the clock though, so let's let's pick up the pace here, guys. Uh, one, two. We can play lots of things. Let's keep Wolfie Boy tap down. Play this. Get rid of it. Play Bayou for the green. Signet one. That comes into play tapped, so we're actually just going to play Oblivion Ring here. Get rid of Kiora. And then we'll pass. Okay. Clock is running a bit on the low side, but I feel like we're ahead, especially when they're in top deck mode and they hit a Lumbering Falls. We can un... Um, let's target this. Yep, all right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, yeah, or one shy, we'll just play that. One, two, three, four, keep up abrupt decay, which is pretty cool. I guess we're gonna have to use a blue for that. They're real picky about mana cost. They're like, we really want you to use this. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they hit time spiral, it's pretty bad. I actually kind of just want to take the elf here and then play it. And then we can actually just get in there. Because now they only have five mana, so they can't top deck Time Spiral. Oh, Time Spiral? We have Leovold. Never mind. Time Spiral is actually fantastic. Please, Time Spiral. Yeah, we're in F6 here. I still want to keep them off their mana. If we can keep... Oh, that's a good hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. E One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. That is unfortunately good. Um... Tap down you. Abrupt decay you, so you can't actually hit the land. Play this. Play this. And attack with... Nope. Just you. Because we have lots of things in the graveyard that are actually good if they want to double block. If we want to if we want to put Hostage Taker and Manglehorn in the graveyard, it's pretty sweet. Yep, they did not. They are at eight. Wow, this game is really close. They played nothing, and we get Palace Jailer. That's pretty insane. Oh, well, we don't have Avenger in hand, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. If they hit a land. Ancient Tomb. Not what we're looking for, but... Appreciate it nonetheless. Yep, and now they get it. Alright, so we're kind of looking... Oh, they're at three? They're just dead. That's pretty good. Oh, did they say oops? Could we have just killed them last turn? <laughs> That's... I didn't, I'm not even keeping track of their life because I'm just trying to win really fast. So, we're kind of, that's really just the epitome of playing with their food, but. Uh, block. Block with this guy. Kapow. Wow. What a. Wow. That's fantastic. That was pretty okay. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com. 20% off the first three months with the promo code and the link in the description. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore where you will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Great deals. I have an article up that went up today on coolstuffinc.com. Check that out. You can use promo code Frank5 to get 5% off. 
Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.